Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about a bunch of bolo items, bolos that came from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And uh, there's some really good ones in here. There's one somebody picked up for $2 at a garage sale and sold for over $1,000. There's another one that somebody bought at my whatnot show for $5 and flipped it for a nice profit. And there's one that you've either thrown away or would have thrown away that sold for a nice profit. It's basically trash that sold. So let's get started here. What I do is I post this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group up under the announcements featured section, and you guys can go and share a Bolo, and I will feature it in a video like this. Be sure to shout out your social media, um, the platforms you sell on, and I will include that in the video if you share it in the comment. The first one here is this Mackenzie Child's Happy Jack-O-Lantern Pumpkin Figurine. It's four inches, and it says purchased in a goodie bag for $4.79 at a local thrift store. Missed it the week before, but luckily it was still there. It sold for $49.99 plus shipping. eBay store is Thrifting Addiction. And there is the info on the bottom, Mackenzie Childs. The next one comes from Piece of Scrap. She is on YouTube also. Check her out to see her what sold videos. She paid $4.75 for this at the Goodwill and sold it for $76 shipped on eBay. It is an L.L. Bean Chore Barn coat, size large, jacket, floral, corduroy canvas, vintage, lined. The next one is this Martha Miniatures Wear Fussy, size 24 month, pink Swiss dot dress. Bought this vintage baby dress for 25 cents at a kid's consignment shop called Other Mothers. They do a quarter sale twice a month where they sell all the rejects people bring in. So I'm guessing people bring in their items for consignment and what they don't want, they put into a rejected pile and then they sell them on clearance. Sold uh, for 55 cents, 55 cents, <laughs> sold for $55 overnight, stains and all, eBay store, mother underscore hen shops. And here is this, guys. This is crazy. Went to a yard sale last weekend. A gentleman had around 50 to 65 shirts. He had just put them out when I got to the sale. They were all older Harley Davidson shirts, 3D emblems. Ended up taking all of them for $2 each. A lot of them went into the personal collection of his personal collection of vintage shirts, but have sold a few of them on eBay. Wish I found scores like this every day, right? 3D emblem, Hogs Rolling Thunder 1988 Harley Davidson shirt. $1,299.99. Wow. $2 into $1,299.99. That's crazy. Nick and Nora vintage blue cowboy pajamas, large complete set Nirvana Kurt Cobain. So this is one of those as seen on a movie star items. And a lot of times you can get more money if they have been featured on somebody famous, if it was in a movie or in a catalog or, you know, a magazine, something like that of the person wearing it, but especially if they wear them in movies. Found this at a yard sale. I previously saw this pattern on the Bolo page while back. When I saw the pattern at the yard sale, I knew there was something special about it. So I did a Google image search, quickly snatched them up for $7. She said she gladly paid seven for them. The leader singer the lead singer of Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, wore them, bought them at the beginning of the summer, so they were only listed a few months. eBay store is Carla's Fresh Thrift Finds, and that is also on Mercari. And looks like she sold it for $323.99. There you go, guys. As seen on a movie star. Note from buyer, does the CD player work? If not, keep it. Oh, that's always like, hmm, how is this going to go? How is this going to go? Are they going to open up a return? Do you guys ever get concerned when you get a weird note from the buyer? Uh, found this Heineken cooler with CD player in the dumpster and it sold for $125 on eBay. And that was outright selling price without an offer. So cost of goods was zero. It's a CD player shaped like a Heineken. Well, not like a Heineken, a Heineken cooler. <laughs> Fiona's Fab finds one. This one is not a big money bolo, but maybe something that you might pass by. 
uh, says the dog patch picker on eBay. I love selling DVDs. There's a lot of low priced ones, but they're easy to list, store and ship. This one I got for free along with a small storage case of others at a private pick. It's harder to find title and sold for $12.93. Not a lot, but every little bit counts. So let me know in the comments, do you guys do media mail? Would you have picked something up like this? Are the profits high enough for you? Or would you pass on something like this? Again, storage is a big thing. How much storage do you have? Trying to find the item would probably be tricky, I think, uh, going through a bunch of DVDs. But there's a lot of people that just sell media and they're flipping so much of it constantly daily that it you know, it may only be a $12.93 sale, but if you multiply that by 10 items a day, you know, it does add up. The next item is this Avita Desert Trio Perfume Dune something. Um, is it Primrose maybe? Grab six of these small vials, making two sets of three from a free pile over a year ago. She said she lost her mother and backed away from reselling for a bit to grieve. Recently just started listing again and came across these. I was surprised at the comps on them. Listed lower than other listings since I did not have the original box they should have been in. They both sold full price within one week to one buyer. Not bad for a freebie. Buyer left positive feedback. eBay stores, Hilltop Hustler, love watching Bolo Buddies and seeing and sharing all the Bolos with others. Looks like she sold um, them both sets for $169.90. That is fabulous. So as long as it's new old stock, you can sell uh, perfume. The next item is the one from my whatnot show. And during this show, everything started at $5 or less auction style. And everybody was like, it's creepy. It's creepy. I'm like, that's not creepy. That's look how cute that little baby is. It's a little porcelain doll, guys. So nobody bought it. I'm sorry, somebody bought it, but they only paid $5 for it. Nobody else bid because they thought the little doll was creepy. Well, she said, I bought this little baby porcelain doll from Bolo Buddies on Whatnot for $5 and shipping. No one wanted her. Everyone said creepy. She said even her kids said that they thought it was adorable. Anyway, couldn't find anything about her, but saw one other one for around $100. Priced for $98.74. Got an offer for $50 and took it. Thank you so much. More pictures below. All right, so she took a best offer of 50 on that, guys. Bought it for five, sold it for 50. I said, I remember that the chat was going crazy. Yeah, everybody was like, ah, it's creepy. I mean, they they were all creeped out by it. Do you guys think it's creepy? I don't think it's creepy. Uh, vintage Tupperware set of, oh, so I wanted to talk about this. So whatnot, you're like, why did you sell it for $5 if it's worth 50 or more? Well, because whatnot, I know I give you guys the advice on eBay and the other platforms to list things high and wait for the right buyer, right? Well, whatnot is kind of a different platform. It's all auction style. So I'm showing you guys items live and I start everything at $5 or less. And if it gets bid up, great. And if it doesn't and it sells for five, I still made a profit. I want to say I paid $2 for this at a garage sale. So I didn't make a ton of money. I would have done better to list this on a platform. But the idea behind whatnot is to sell your items and hope you get multiple bids. But if you don't, sometimes you don't make a huge profit. So my business model is to start things low. And, you know, a lot of the people that come to my whatnot shows are resellers. So then that leaves some meat on the bone so that you guys can flip the items for a profit. Uh, just like anything else, you need to do your research, but um, $5 into 50. If you guys want to come over to Whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop if you join with my referral link and you can follow me over there. I am Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase. And I'd love to see you guys at a show. Um, I do have at the end of the month, a Monster High doll show coming up. So uh, I usually sell jewelry, so I'm excited about it, but a little bit like, ah, how's this going to do? Because kind of out of my element, but uh, I'm excited. So hopefully you guys will join Whatnot, come follow me and hang out and never any pressure to buy. I do a lot of jewelry untangling, so you guys can just hang out and talk in the chat if you want. It's kind of like being at a live show. So again, that referral link is in the description of the video. Vintage Tupperware set of five canisters. Purchased this vintage Tupperware canister set from a churchyard sale in April. 
listed them in July and sold for $54.95 plus shipping. I always look at vintage Tupperware. eBay store is Hilltop Hustler. Thanks again for giving us a place to share and learn all about bolos. $54.95. So you know who would like this one is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. She loves selling Tupperware. La Duca. La Duca. These are dance shoes. And they look like this. And those are in really nice condition. Found these La Duca dance shoes at the Goodwill for $5.99 and sold in less than three days for $160. They are um, dance shoes. And again, I don't know why they're dance shoes because the bottoms, maybe they're jazz. Do you think they're jazz? I don't know. Maybe jazz. The next one is this vintage antique brass sad iron coal charcoal wood handle patina. It's an iron. Sold for $39. Bought at a yard sale for $2. I bought this silverware from an estate sale a couple of weeks ago. Half off day. So $15. I've broken them up into sets. Still have more to list. Sold one set of spoons and one set of forks already. Made my money back and I have picked up some other silverware from the Goodwill. So I really need to get all of them listed. I combined shipping and sent them $4 back after I sent it priority mail. Some pictures below. So Charleston Classics, 1974 is what it looks like they sold the spoons and the forks for. This one is a plain paper fax by Brother. He said, got it at a consignment store closing down locally for $5 and sold for $145.99. Free shipping, making $95.17. And the last one, this is just unbelievable. Thanks to the Bolo Buddies page, I knew to list this empty Huggies refillable pop-up wipes container from when her daughter was a baby. They do not produce wipe containers like this anymore, making them a high commodity. This one is from 2017 and was personally used, so cost of goods was zero. Sold with the buy it now option, buyer paid $35 plus shipping. This one comes from Jiffy Thrifty on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Depop. It is an empty Huggies wipe container. They are refillable, so people collect them. What do you guys think of that? Would you have tossed it? How many of these have you tossed? If you have kids, have you tossed them? Isn't that crazy? $35. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.